Yo, what's up guys, welcome back to a brand new Roblox Studio video, my name is Floppy and today guys I'm going to be showing you how to make a player's jump power increase every second. Just before the video begins I would just like to say 92.2% .2 of you guys are not subscribed. If you want to see more Roblox Studio videos like these make sure to consider subscribing and turning on the notification bell so you can be the first one to be notified every single time I upload a new video. So for starters we're going to want to make sure Explorer and Properties are enabled. If Explorer and Properties are not enabled we only hit Click on the top bar here, click on view and enable Explorer and Properties. Now that you've enabled Explorer and Properties, you want to head over to Explorer and you want to find the file or the folder that says Service Script Service and you want to click the plus button next to it. You then want to insert a script into Service Script Service. Feel free to rename it to whatever you want. But then you want to go down to the description of this video, copy and paste the code that's in the description and bring it back to Roblox Studio to remove all the previous code and then paste in the new code. As you guys may see, this code is extremely similar to the one that we showed in our previous video on how to make players warp speed increase every second. Because all we're changing is just the property on what we are changing. So basically what we are doing here, we're going to the character, dot the humanoid of the character, and we're enabling us to use jump power. Because there is another jump thing, I'm pretty sure it's called something like jump height, where you can adjust the height also there, but for this tutorial we will be using jump power so what we do now is this line here this basically sets so as soon as a player joins into the game their jump power is set to zero basically meaning because they've stayed in the server for zero seconds so they are at zero jump speed a uh, jump power and then what this does while true do is basically a loop then it waits one second and then it will play and then every second uh, it will, th then it will play and it will give them three additional jump speed but you can for this tutorial we can actually make it one but I just, for testing purposes i had a three um, and then what, what happens then then it just continues to loop for this this and this and every second they're given one additional jump speed so for this tutorial actually we'll go and put this back on three so you guys can see the difference a lot sooner but if we go up here once you've finished adjusting everything go and click on the x button and then go click on the play button to go test it out as you guys can see we are now in the base plate and if we go jump we we can not jump too much and we are kind of just slightly getting off the ground. Now if we wait a couple of seconds, you guys will be able to see we can actually jump a lot higher. As you guys can see, we can actually now jump properly instead of being bounced back down because from the start there, we weren't able to jump as high. So every second, a, the player gets one additional jump power. If you guys are a little bit lost or you don't really know what you're doing, feel free to send me a message on Discord and I'll happily help you out. If you guys wanted to support me to the extra mile, super thanks and being a member on my channel is an option. Super thanks is located just below the video and to become a member, you can click the join button next to the subscribe button located below the video. But anyway guys, I'm going to wrap up the video here. If you'd enjoy it, I'd appreciate it if you do consider subscribing to the channel, liking the video, I'd really appreciate it. But anyway, have a lovely rest of your day and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Peace.